Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. I am from Bayelsa State, from Southern Asia Local Government Area. My name is Honorable Don Jacob Krobo, Ibikisai. On the 20th of June, I rightly closed from my office and I went home somehow late. I spent time with my family and friends. After that, I slept. I woke up around 2 o'clock. I, I saw so many things that I cannot even identify them on my face. As I was looking at it, everywhere in my body, everywhere, I was thinking it looks like skin pulse at that early hour in the night. But minutes after minutes, they are developing all over my system. And I was thinking maybe it's a kind of infection. So after one or two calls, I went to government house clinic. They run tests. The doctors came and that they don't know what is the cause of this thing, but that they are suspecting uh, safely. I said, ah, you cannot suspect now. You were supposed to come up with a result. And we attend one or two treatments. But in this process, every 40 minutes, I will run down full carton of water. Every 40 minutes? Every 40 minutes. Full carton of water, the finisher. And that you drank time. 40 carton? Every 40 minutes, it's about one carton of water. Okay, one carton of, how many contains, how many bottles? Uh, 12 bottles. Okay, like 12. That. Yeah. It was just like something was drying me inside me. I think uh, it's not ordinary at that point in time. And every minute, these things, they grew from my finger, my leg. The next few hours, I couldn't track. The thing my... was growing? Yes, all over my skin. All like, over your skin? It was just like skin disease. It's like a skin disease? Yes, but some people can call them uh, monkey paws. Some will say Some call it monkey paws. Some call it what? Paws and all that. So, But then, uh, after the time, I now realized that I have been attacked because I was not sick before I got to my bed. I was all relaxed and one or two persons were coming to console with me in my parlor. Consoling you? Yeah. Somebody says, it's not my person. <laughs> you don't see that one? Sorry, sorry. And you are dying. Yes. So I, I was still lying down on my parlor. Then my spirit was weak. So that person... I now called my driver. We climbed upstairs. In my room, I told him that go and start my motor. We are going to my spiritual father. Because I know that uh, I have an almighty man in Delta State. So my driver and my person, we spoke in my room and I told him not to tell anybody because at that point in time, I was almost 50-50 uh, in life. So my driver now fellow another staircase in my house, linked to the outside. Then I now followed the main parlor. I told them I'm going to hospital with one of my mopo. That was how we came. On the way coming, because the general is my general. And all the lieutenants around the general, they are my lieutenants. So I started putting calls. And my driver was somehow afraid. I told him, don't worry. Immediately we'll get to Mercy City. I'll get myself because my feet is there. As at when my calls and text messages were going, Alebe, Asaba, Ajoko, all of them, until we get into the gate, immediately we enter the gate, a kind of fresh air came into the car. Power! I felt the hair, so I was thinking maybe my driver on AC. At that point in time, we don't need this. So when I was, ah, Sapi, you on? He said, no. So then where are we? He said, we are in Mercy City. That was when I now knew that the spirit of my general has come to perform miracle. <laughs> so as I came, I went and bought the water and the oil, started touching them, and I got my time. But even at that point in time, I couldn't move well because of the injuries. In the afternoon hour of the program, 
man of God sent for me and now came. He delivered me. And still place an order that they should still move me to prayer line. On that uh, VIP move, they took me to prayer line. As at when he came to the prayer line, he touched me two times. He touched me the first time. He went to another lady, came back. As at when I fall and stand up, I know myself, I became very light. Power. I told my... Who touched you? The Jew. Huh? The general. Who is the general? <laughs> Prophet. Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufuye. Power! I don't know what really happened. So this man just ran to this place. And he joined the prayer line. Someone said prayer line. Prayer line. Prayer line. The water to touch you. That is called prayer line. How are you going to join the prayer line? Our accommodation. Through our accommodations. Then you join the prayer line. Prayer line is a free place. That you go. The man of God will pray for you. How are you going to now hold yourself until D-Day? You will now begin to now enter the accommodations. From there you will be comfort until the time of prayer. On Sunday like this. Then the man of God will now come and pray for you. After praying or prayers, then that sickness that or that disease or whatever thing they call it, delay, failure, that the enemies assigned against you will just disappear instantly. Prayer is very important. You need to have a counter with the man of God. At times one on one. One on one. So that let some trouble that's more than challenges that more than you, you need to have a counter. And through the prayer line, you agree to now have a counter with the, pro the prophets. Then your story will change. So that's how this thing happened. And let us see the, the, the present uh, uh, face and the, the previous face. Power! How long this thing happened? Uh, it's about a uh, 24 hours time I came here, but immediately after the prayer, this thing just dry off. Within three days time, I come back to my face. Power! Under three weeks, you are now coming for testimony. Yes, sir. No, no, that now is about two weeks and some days now. Two weeks and some days, yeah. And some days. Fast healing. Somebody two weeks and some days. He now recovered speedily. Somebody, anything in my life. Somebody say anything in my life. Assigned to kill me, assigned to kill me, to destroy me, to destroy me. To as I pass Mercy City, it comes to Mercy City. As I watch Mercy TV, it comes to regard Mercy TV. Speedly, rapidly, I will overcome them. Je vais vaincre mes ennemis. In Jesus' name. Au nom de Jésus. You may be said. God bless you. So, right now, how do you feel now? I'm okay. You are okay. I'm very, very okay. I don't feel any pain, okay. and in fact like this in my skin again. Everything has been wiped off. All right. Yes, sir. Put your hand together for Jesus. Voilà, cher, à tout à l'heure, nous venons de suivre un instant le merveilleux témoin de cet homme qui fut affligé par cette maladie de peau, dont nous voyons son corps vraiment, par le passé, tout vraiment euh, afflicté, affligé. Et ceci a vraiment affecté sa vie quotidienne. Il a eu à prendre de nombreux médicaments, tels que les médecins l'ont prescrit, mais cela n'a pas apporté de solution à son problème. Alors, il était confus, il ne savait pas si c'était peut-être de la varicelle ou une rougeole ou une maladie quelconque. Que les médecins n'ont pas révélé effectivement la cause de son problème jusqu'à ce qu'il puisse en bénéficier de la prière de l'homme de Dieu qui a prié pour lui. Et instantanément, chez Hortateur, il a reçu sa guérison et son corps a été reformé, tel que nous voyons à l'écran aujourd'hui. Il est complètement libéré pour la gloire du Seigneur. Approchons pour le Seigneur. May the Lord bless you. And God, God does bless you. And from now on, hold on to Jesus. May God bless you in Jesus' name. God bless you all as you come. May God bless you, protect you, guide you in Jesus' name. Thank you.